a good Friday morning. I'm meteorologist Michelle Morgan with your Friday morning 10 a.m. tropical update here. And uh, so far for the season, we've had five named storms. Currently, there's still one named storm meandering over the Atlantic Basin. But we've had two hurricanes and then three tropical uh, storms so far for the season. And there is also three areas that we are watching right now over the central Atlantic. So let's go ahead and go over Earl. It's still swirling around, looking very good on satellite imagery. And the National Hurricane Center has highlighted three other areas really over the central Atlantic that has a low chance of tropical development as we go through the next couple of days or so. The area that's highlighted that's closer to the coast of Africa has a 20% chance of tropical development in the next five days. So we are ex expecting a tropical wave to come off the coast of Africa next week. So again, we're going to continue to watch that long term. So there's Hurricane Earl swirling around and it is pulling around, pulling away from Bermuda. It brought tropical storm force conditions and force winds earlier this morning to that country. Country, and it is expected to continue to move to the northeast here. And right now it is jetting at 22 miles per hour. So it is moving pretty fast with maximum sustained winds of 100 miles per hour. So as we take a look at the latest forecast track from the National Hurricane Center here, it looks like it's going to hold on to its category two hurricane strength as we go through the next several days or so. And it's going to continue that northeasterly movement and eventually, as we get closer to your Saturday night, Sunday morning, as it moves over cooler waters, also the wind shear is much stronger as we head up to the north. It is going to shred that area and then it's going to eventually become a low pressure system early next week. A tropical wave invest 95 L. We're continuing to investigate it. Uh, center is uh, a circulation is uh, found within this system here and um, even though it doesn't look like much right now, it is being shredded by a strong westerly wind shear. That's why uh, you can find uh, most of the showers, the, the convection, the thunderstorms found on the eastern side, eastern side of the system here. So it is moving to the west at 10 miles per hour, and it has maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour. And as we take a look at uh, the spaghetti plots here, most of them, Pretty good consensus, keeping it a fish storm. And then eventually, as we go through the next couple of days or so, it's also going to take a northerly turn, again, staying away from the Gulf Coast. And to mention, there are no tropical threats to the Gulf Coast and also southeast Louisiana, really anybody at the moment. So the question is, what's steering these systems? Um, at the moment, there's a huge area of high pressure, a Bermuda high hanging over the central Atlantic, and it is pretty strong. That's why a lot of these uh, tropical systems, these hurricanes are really wrapping around uh, that area of high pressure. And also, as we head into your Sunday and Monday, another ridge of high pressure is expected to uh, develop on the eastern half of the United States. So whatever develops, it's going to continue to funnel these systems between those areas. So that's the great news. It's keeping a lot of these uh, systems away from land. So uh, also just to mention that we're getting close to the peak of hurricane season, which is actually tomorrow, September 10th. And we're going to continue to see an uptake of tropical activity over the Atlantic Basin through the next couple of days or so. And this is actually normal. So we do expect that there. So we've had five named storms with another named storm again gets tropical characteristics. And if it is named the next name on the list, it is Fiona. So uh, that does it for me for now. That's the latest on what's going on in the tropics. The Gulf remains quiet for now, which is uh, great news for us here. And of course, we'll continue to update you as updates become available.